Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Krzysztof Borodako and with my colleagues Jadwiga Berbeka, Michał Rudnicki and Mariusz Opczyński, uh, I would like to show you the results of our research concerning the innovation of uh, impact of innovation orientation on business performance. The project was funded uh, by the National Science Center Poland. My presentation consists of four parts. First, I will present key theoretical issues and other research. Then I will move on to the methodology. Then I will discuss the results of our analysis. And I will finish my presentation with the conclusions. When you go to literature review, uh, first of all, I would to, to draw your attention to the evolution of strategic orientations uh, in business, because uh, in the literature we can find that the most popular and the one that starts the discussion about strategic orientation was market orientation developed by Narver and Slater or Colley and Jaworski in the 90s. After that, we can mention about entrepreneurship orientation and after that, learning orientation. One of the most uh, current um, types of orientation discussed in the literature is uh, innovation orientation. And this is the topic of my uh, presentation. If we make the literature review, in innovation orientation, we can uh, mention the key contributions uh, in, in this area. First of all, we have to start with the works of Manu uh, in the 90s, uh, where we can find the first um, attempts to with definition uh, of this concept. But the, one of the most influential uh, work uh, was uh, published in 2006, uh, author, authors by Singua, Simpson and Ant, where, who uh, defined it as a multidimensional knowledge structure composed of learning philosophy, strategic direction, and transfunctional beliefs. But of course, these uh, measures, these um, parameters, uh, guide and direct all organizational strategies and actions, but also they include formal and inf informal system behaviors, competences, but also processes of a firm. And all these actions, all these um, phenomena promote innovative thinking and facilitate the successful development, evolution and execution of innovations. Uh, when we speak about innovation orientation in the literature, we have to mention also other significant contributions of Stock and Zaharias and by also Ayos, uh, Rodriguez, Garcia, Gastro and Arino, uh, and also Norris and Cicielska. Uh, authors' works regarding um, innovation orientation. We based our research on uh, our innovation orientation uh, definition, which was presented in details uh, in our book, Innovation Orientation Business Services, uh, published by Elvald El Elgar. Uh, in our definition, we uh, cover uh, six uh, dimensions that included, uh, first of all, strategy, of course, but after that, uh, organizational culture, human resources, structures and processes, marketing and technology. All these uh, dimensions were dis described in detail in our book. So we propose the DIOM model that is uh, based on six dimensions. Uh, as I mentioned before, the main uh, dimension is a strategy, because we are speaking about the firm orientation. After that, organizational culture, human resources, pro structure and process, market and technology. As you see in the middle of this uh, diagram, we have organizational culture dimension, which is connected with all um, other dimensions and is in the core in the middle of this model. So this model we implemented in our study and it was a starting point for our empirical research.
When you go to methodology, we apply the questionnaire method to collect data for the study. Uh, we conducted a large scale nationwide uh, email survey of business service providers located in Poland. What is uh, important, the research sample of respondents was obtained from the national database reflecting the official code register of an economic activity in Poland. It means that we are trying to cover the general sample of, of our study. So we received a total of 1,500 1, fully and properly completed questionnaires. And this sample, the uh, size of the sample, with a population of companies equals 91,236 uh, items which were treated as a general sample means that it's a representative sample with a margin of error less than 50 percent. Results. First of all, we are we're focusing on impact of innovation orientation on sales when we say we treat the sales as uh, one of the measures of business performance. We conducted a regression analysis where we can see that uh, in case of some uh, relation between uh, dimension of innovation orientation and sales exists the statistically significant and positive relationship. And uh, the, uh, the highest, um, the strongest relationship was mentioned in, uh, was observed in the relation between strategic dimension and sales and uh, twice slower, slice weaker, sorry, a relationship was uh, between technological dimension and sales. In, kind, in, in, uh, in case of two relations, I mean structural and process dim dimension and sales, but also in human resources and sales, these relations were uh, statistically insignificant, so we cannot say any, any comments about these relationships. When we go to the analysis of impact of innovation orientation on sales, but according to type of services, how it looks in different types of services, because one of our aims was to check if the level of this uh, relationship is different and how strong the difference looks like in, in different types of services. Uh, we analyze uh, this uh, relations in different types of business services called knowledge intensive business services. And as you see in uh, our area of study, I mean, this sample type of, uh, of the services, the strongest relation between orientation, innovation and size was in market and public opinion research. Um, the next type of services with, with weaker um, relationship, relationship between both uh, parameters were employment agency activity and even supporting services. When we look in the end of a, of a list, we have um, management and public relations services and technical research and analysis uh, that have one of the lowest but still uh, significant and positive relationship with both uh, variables. In case of two types of services, I mean, even technology services and organization of first exhibition and congresses, this both uh, this relation was uh, statistical, statistical, not significant. But when we go to the main question about the hypothesis that innovation orientation impact uh, the sales of a company, business service providers, uh, as we can see in the first line of the table, uh, this uh, result is uh, statistically significant and positive. So the hypothesis, first hypothesis was confirmed. The next part of our result, results refer to the impact of uh, technology on innovation orientation. And here technology we understand as a level of, uh, of using new technologies by the uh, companies. So if we look on the result of the correlation analysis applied um, between uh, technology and innovation orientation, so we can see that in case of all dimensions of innovation orientation, the results are significant are positive. One of the strongest 
one of the strongest relations, and this can be uh, logically confirmed, that the technology, I mean, use of a technology is, is, has the strongest correlation with technological uh, dimension. Uh, and uh, one of the lowest level is uh, between technology and human resources and also technology and structural and process dimension. Uh, when we look on the combined dimensions and the relation between technology and innovation orientation as one uh, item, so we can see here that this uh, correlation is very strong and positive, statistically significant. So we can say also here that hypothesis 2 was also in our research confirmed. When we look on the relation between uh, technology and innovation orientation in case of particular type of services, here you can see in the red, red uh, letters that almost all types of services are significant, statistic, statistically significant, and uh, depending on the dimension in the upper part of the table, you have names, uh, abbreviation of the dimension, statistical, uh, strategic dimension, um, uh, structure, process dimension, human resources dimension, technological dimension, organizational culture dimension, and market dimension. And you can see here all parameter R uh, values or um, coefficients are statistically significant. And uh, there are two, actually, there are two um, exceptions. I mean, even technology services were uh, not statistically significant. And also in case of employment agency activities, uh, in five uh, dimension were also this relation and statistically not uh, significant. So if you look on the impact of the technology invention in uh, combined dimension according to the services, we look that in general market and or public opinion research, this relation is statistically significant. Actually, what confirmed previous uh, slides, employment agency activity is also uh, statistically in, uh, significant and in case of even technology services is also statistically insignificant. If you look at the last part of our study, I mean uh, impact of knowledge absorption capacity called later knowledge on innovation orientation, we see also uh, the possibility to verify our hypothesis. So, if we look on the relation between technology and uh, particular dimension of our innovation orientation, we can see that in case of all dimensions, this uh, relation is statistically significant, and these values of uh, R is uh, different, but the highest level are in case of market dimension and organizational culture dimension. And uh, when we look on the relation between knowledge, I mean, knowledge absorption uh, capacity uh, and innovation orientation as combined dimensions, uh, we can see here very strong relation on the level of 0 0.7. So in this way, we can also confirm uh, H, uh, H3 as confirmed. Uh, hypothesis number three also confirmed. And we look at the relation between uh, this knowledge and innovation orientation for particular types of uh, services. You also he, he can see here that even technology is statistically insignificant, but the highest level are for, uh, for um, even supporting services, uh, software and IT technology, cultural, uh, architectural engineering services, but also technical research and analysis. So, if we go to discussion, because the study covered many different issues, I would draw your attention only to some selected uh, connection of our, uh, our study with uh, another previous study. So, study extend the research of Kraichi, Hack and Keller's months. Uh, in relate in, in uh, area of innovation orientation and performance 
in our study we also confirmed this relationship as significant and positive. In their study, uh, they focused on small, medium sized firms, and uh, this uh, study was focused more on uh, effects on R&D in intensity. But uh, in, in general, the study are very, uh, the results are very similar uh, in this area. Also, the study is in line with Dobney and Klassen from 2015, who confirm a positive correlation between innovation orientation and firm performance, uh, which we use in our study as uh, assays. And also, our study was the, the continuation of the conceptual study of Sigua at all. Uh, connecting uh, knowledge uh, with innovation orientation. So we used uh, knowledge absorption capacity to confirm the correlation between it and innovation orientation. So in conclusion, we can say that in our study we use the DAOM model to empirically measure the relationship between uh, among uh, innovation orientation dimensions and other variables, which we included in our model. Uh, this study has some limitation. One of them is the type of data based on the survey. This type of data limits the possibility of in-depth analysis of innovation orientation companies. And here we can see also the possibility to, to continue uh, this, this kind of study. But also the future research can implement the DIRM model into the research in other culture environments and other type of business services. Thank you very much for your attention, for watching my presentation. And if you have any questions or any comments, please write the email to me. My email address is uh, on the slide. So I will try to, to contact, to answer it. And if you are interested in any research, common project in area of strategic orientation, I also invite you to cooperation. If you would like to find more information about me, you can find them on LinkedIn. Research guide, but also many of my publications are available on Google Scholar. Thank you very much again.